After Chiang Mai and Ayutthaya, we continue down to Bangkok, a metropolis of 10 million people. In a quiet temple in Chinatown, I made some portraits of Fernie. I love how her dress matches the ubiquitous red in the temple. Again, I relied on the shallow depth of field of the GF110, and I also used the out-of-focus candles as a frame in a frame. I used two gridded lights, one in a softbox and a second with a red color gel in a reflector. Then we set on to Cambodia. After the obligatory sunrise shot of Angkor Wat, we drove for a couple of hours to a remote temple that looks very much like Angkor Sta Prom Temple, but without the tourists. I love how the trees are slowly overtaking the ruins. The orange of the monk's robes contrasts beautifully with the earthy color palette. I used a strobe with a reflector and an orange gel and another line inside of the temple. As I like to give my shots a filmic look, I chose the expand aspect ratio. Finally, I turned to the GF110 again to photograph this woman. I love the contrast between her refined movements and outfit and the raw brutality of the environment. After almost two weeks, I know that Thailand and Cambodia should be on every travel photographer's bucket list, and the GFX100S is the ideal companion to capture the beautiful sights and people in stunning detail.